Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we last left off, we, um, we, uh, were talking to Mercurio, I think. We just did the Kamikaze Den, so we're pretty much done with Mitnick, I think. Or entirely done, even. And, uh, mostly done with Gary. In fact, I don't remember. What does Gary want us to do? Um... Squashed Odie's Chalice. Um, hmm, I don't know where to find one of those. I'll have to think about that. Uh, in the meantime, I did want to pop down here in the blood bank. We're really low on regular blood packs, so I'm going to talk to Vandal here. Here again? What's the matter? Can't bring yourself to tear into the neck of some quote-unquote innocent? That's definitely not it. All that blood out there, and you have to buy the prepackaged stuff. That's okay. I understand. I forgive you. I really don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> fresh blood, maybe I should start with you. I meant no offense. I have respect for you. I just meant that all that power and you don't even use it. Seems wasteful. Shameful. All these sheep. All these happy-go-lucky nine-to-five tools walking around oblivious. If one or two or three or four of them go missing, the flock grazes on. Uh, yeah. There's survival, then there's homicide. I don't have to kill anybody to uh, get my fix. At least not anymore. Survival? Since when has survival had nothing to do with murder? Murder is what mankind and your kind do best. Can you look me in the eyes and tell me you've never killed anyone? How about it, Saint? Yes or no? You know, motherfucker, I just came here to get some blood, not have a philosophical discussion. But, uh, you know what? I've definitely killed the shit out of a ton of people. But in particular, you're top of my list. Oh, as you should. Yes, I'm weaker than you. I'm no match for you. I serve your kind because of my weakness, my addiction to your blood. And I aspire to be like you. To think like you. To be on the other side of this conversation. I respect and envy you. Alrighty. Anyway, give me some fucking blood. I swear to God, dude. Alright, we just want some regular blood packs. That's probably fine. Let's get out of here. Now, at this point, we um, basically just need to go back to Chinatown. To acquire, or not acquire, but uh, to do two things. One of which is to find uh, Zhao to continue looking for uh, Barabbas, which we've kind of put on the back burner, honestly. Uh, and then also, I want to take another look inside the way. ramen shop. So let's see here. There we go. Alrighty. So I think not that. Not that one. This one? No. This one. Here we go. <laughs> Thinking here, there's gonna be something else now that we've done the one quest. Hello. Ayashine. Uh, what now? I am she. I am not like all the rest. But I have no vengeance for you. Yet. These parentheses are, uh, I think plus patch. Um, but, uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but it fills in the blanks a little bit, I guess. Uh, what are you talking about? I talk with demon when I should kill it. Crazy. Yes, I agree. Um, there's no need for that. Who are you? Oh, Gamiyuki Yedas. I am she, Demon Hunter. I come to this city for the blood of the demon that kill my master. Do not interfere. My revenge will cut through you if it has to. Um, what demon? I hunt Hengeyokai. My sensei killed demon that killed my family. And now I take the life of his killer. I follow trail of corpses from Japan to Rosu and Garesu. Hange Yokai is here, and it will die here. Uh, what is that? Hange Yokai is a demon that hides in the skin of man. But it is not man. 
Do you know where it is? I know he is nearby. Edo... I lose its trail. Do you meet Tangeokai? Uh, obviously I would not know, but, uh, maybe you can give me some clues? You would know one when you see it. Yeah, I kind of doubt it. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you know about that. Your face is creeping me out, too. Hontone? I appreciate your concern for my vengeance. Arigato gozaimasu. Do not pity Hengeokai. It is a bad demon. The kind that make little girl into hunter. Okay, well, before I go, I guess let's ha have a little Q&A session. Nani? Uh, what do you know about the Quajin? They're ghost people. Ghost and dead person. I do not like Quajin. I do not like demons. Excuse me. Um, I guess, yeah, because we're sort of of the same vein, in a sense, supernatural, <laughs> anyway. Um... But anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Nani? Um, anything else you can tell me about a hengayoki? Hengayokai scents smell like... Sakana. Fishes. I don't know why. Maybe other demons know why. Hmm, alright, well that's something. Uh, Nani. one more question? Uh, that's really nice... I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just go. <laughs> I'm guessing, guessing she's not going to be down for that. So we've got a lead on another side quest here. Um, at this point, let me save the game for a sec. I think I want to pop back into the restaurant. Well, the other restaurant, I guess, the big fancy one. <laughs> There's two reasons for that. One is one of the things I'm looking for is not here, which is fine. <laughs> this guy's just pissing. Okay, I thought he was yelling, running his mouth earlier, but um, I thought we'd be able to talk to him again, but I guess not. So in that case, I guess we're just gonna go find Zhao and see what he has to say for us. Uh, where, where, where is he though? <laughs> uh. Hmm. I already know about that. Warehouse. Okay, yeah. So the warehouses, I think, are going to be down around this way somewhere. Probably. Not down that alley, though. I think it's back here. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be this building here, maybe. Save the game, we'll see. Unless he's outside, I guess we can just take a quick quick peek here. Alright, no, I think it's I think he's in, in here. I'm gonna guess probably upstairs rather than on the ground floor here. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, I don't think we'll be needing it. There's actually a ladder right there too. Let's go up the ladder and see see what's going on over here. Anything good? Definitely someone in that office over there. Yeah, there's a uh, another car stereo right there. Is there something on top of this? No. Okay. All right, let's holler at Zhao. See what he's got to say. Wong Ho called. You're looking for someone. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you Zhao. I don't know where your friend is. But I know the Tong are involved. The leader of the Tong, Johnny. He'll know where they are. Uh, where do I find Johnny? Johnny's at Glaze. It's his club. 
you will need a password to enter. The password is 725. There will be tongue everywhere. Johnny's office is upstairs. All right. So, uh, why are you helping me? I mean, I think we kind of know. I am a man of my word, and I owe the debt to Wong Ho. By paying that debt, I have made an enemy of the Tong, who I once belonged to. This is very dr melodramatic when you're not facing me, dude. Uh, <laughs> so what are you going to do now? You should leave now. We know it was you. Do you need some help with something? Excuse me. So this is a really uh, difficult fight. I uh, had attempted it several times and uh, failed several times to complete it in the way that I desired, um, which was by keeping Zhao alive. Um, but yeah, eventually I sort of got it figured out. Lots of lots of blood purge, definitely blood shield, some blood buff, etc., 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 and that seemed to work out decently, <laughs> but our defense definitely could use some work. Anyway, I'm going to shut up for a minute, and uh, I'll see you in a moment. Alright, I think we may have actually done it this time. Holy fucking shit. What's up, man? How you doing? If you want to find your friend, I suggest you hurry. I do. I also want to loot the room, please. Holy Christ. So that, uh... I've definitely cut out some failed attempts at uh, this fight. Um... All I can say is it, that was actually probably the hardest fight that we've, uh... We've done so far. Ingram Mac 10. What do we what do we have? Um hmm. We have an Uzi, which I think is better, if I recall. So we'll uh we'll leave that as is. Yeah, that's fine. Uh we're gonna actually go ahead and use our Odious Chalice as well to get some blood back so we don't fucking flip out and go crazy. Uh, but I think we're good. I think we're we're all set here now. Dubro lived. Everything's great. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's head over to the club, I guess, where we may have to fight even more of these fucking assholes. <laughs> okay. Uh, wrong way. So yeah, by keeping Zhao alive, I think we get a little bit of bonus XP, and I guess we get some humanity, which is good because I think we, yeah, we we lost a couple points somewhat recently. All right, now I think this is the club right here, so we go seven to five. Now this is open, uh, and at this point, I think I think we I don't know we may be able to do this peacefully. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, after that, I would sort of almost like to. <laughs> We've got 16 points here, too. Get a little bit more of that. Our dodge skill is fucking garbage, though. We, uh, we could really use some more defense. Um, that's what I've, I've learned from this, uh, this little engagement of ours. I mean, even some stamina would have helped us there, honestly. Um... Tell you what. Yeah, is there anything else that we like need right now? I mean, I would love to get blood boil. That is that is a fact. Maybe, yeah, maybe we save up, we get blood boil. 
But then after that, we uh, put some points in, into Stam and Dodge. Like, it's maybe a point each could make uh, a big difference for us. So there's a lot of Tong guys here for sure. Can we dance? Doesn't look like it. Oh, sure we can. It's been a while. Why not? Booyah. That's right. We have the best moves. Alright, this guy is probably not going to let us in. Is there a back door somewhere? Uh, don't see a back door. So I guess we're going to have to chat with this guy. We'll see if we can maybe dominate him or something. Make our life a little bit easier. Nobody allowed upstairs. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll find another way then. No, 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 no. Move your ass. Nobody allowed upstairs. Um. See, uh, this is usually when I get my way with violence. Well, <laughs> so much for the peaceful option. Tell you what, tell you what, let's let's go ahead and let's just uh, let's get ourselves a point of dodge right now. That's a new sounding gun. I don't know if we've seen this gun before, but uh, we'll. Uh, I wonder if we should be able to do this. That'll be fine. Is he gonna blow up? Do you blow up now? Nope, I guess not. You just die. Fair enough. Got a couple guys around here somewhere. Alright. Going. And you are dead, sir. Goodbye. Who's next? Woo! <laughs> no, we do have some guns that we could use, like the sniper rifle, which is uh, pretty, uh, pretty good if we can get guys to uh, hold still long enough. Or we could use the shoddy, which we haven't done in a while either. Ooh, this guy's a... he's got a sword. Cool. Anybody else? Have we done it? I think we've done it. <laughs> and the DJ's just... just still going. Wonderful. There we go. I think... I think we're good. And, um, hmm, let's just get this out for now. I do want to look for that gun that uh, sounded a little bit different, though, because it might be something we're interested in grabbing. Let's see, where's our, where's the guy we're looking for here? There's probably another way upstairs, like a vent or something. But, uh, eh. Who the hell you think you are, asshole? Huh? Do you know who I am? You know where you are? You wanna die? Uh, yeah. Sit down and shut the fuck up. You got something to say to me, asshole? Who let you into Chinatown anyway? You here for your mother? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll give her back after she's done with the last 20 guys. Oh, yeah. Cool. Not smart, Johnny. See, we got a, we got a small problem here. Who told you that? How, how, how would you know about that? Who are you? Answer me. Uh, well, uh, here's the thing. Uh, you don't really, you don't really know what you're dealing with, Johnny boy. Don't tell it a thing, Johnny. Shoot it. You told me that guy was a nobody. Just what the hell did you get us involved in? Shoot it. You'll find out. You're dead, asshole. What the fuck? I shot you. You're dead. That's exactly it, Johnny. It is dead. It's quite difficult to kill something that's already dead. <laughs> I assure you, 
against not wearing a vest. The bullet entered cleanly through the lower abdomen. Oh, I'm wearing a vest, Johnny. It's fine. Normally, a bullet of that caliber would likely ricochet and tear up the small intestine. But as you can see, it exited cleanly through the back with little external bleeding. The reason being, its internal organs have atrophied. This guy seems to know a little bit too much here. Who the fuck is this guy? What the hell's going on? What, what are you? Dispose of Johnny, and we'll discuss the matter of your missing comrade. Oh, okay, where can I find this guy, Johnny? No, fuck you! Die already! Tell you what, Johnny. Go fuck yourself. Didn't you? It's part of your code of survival, covering your tracks, so to speak. And before you attempt to deceive me, you should know I'm monitoring your heat signature. Oh, there's a simple explanation for that. I covered myself in mud before I uh, came in here, predator style. Uh, but who the fuck are you? I also must protect my true identity. You may refer to me as the Mandarin. You are searching for one of your kind, I understand. I have him at my facility. Come to the Fu Syndicate building. We will discuss terms of release. Yeah, I bet we will. So we got a gun. Do we need ammo for that? No, I don't think so. Oh, boy. Maybe there isn't another way up here. I don't know. You know, being that we're all about survival, you think we'd maybe scrub that with bleach or something? Mess up the DNA profile? But uh, maybe maybe vampires don't have to worry about that. A cold police positive special. Do we have a cult? Have we ever had a cult? Hang on. Let me... How do I deal with my weapons here? What's this? This is a Colt Anaconda. We don't need this anymore. So what is this gun? Damage potential 18. Lethality 7. So it's definitely not good. But is it better than the other gun? Maybe. It's like better than the 38, at least maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll hang on to it, I guess. Why not? But there was another gun as well, like an automatic weapon that I heard. It didn't sound like the rest of these. I need a knife. It was this guy, I think. Oh, it's the Uzi. Okay. We just didn't use the Uzi. Didn't use the Uzi. Um, well, I think our work here is basically done. Oh, no, there's one more guy. Hello, my friend. Hey, you know what we can do? Cool, man. We almost died for that. <laughs> uh, let's blood heal a little bit. And then, I don't know if we can feed on these people without getting a masquerade violation, so I'm, I'm gonna leave them alone, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Seems like we've got ourselves yet another lead. Except this one's a little bit more dangerous sounding. Um, we don't have enough XP since I spent a little bit of XP to get our, um, our last point of thaumaturgy here, but we'll get it soon enough. So I'm not super worried about that. But uh, yeah, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.